morning my loves, how are we? I am so excited to be making this video because ever since we first moved into this van full time, like almost six months ago, I've just been so excited to share with you guys like the, the spots that we've been parking in and how we've been finding it and stuff like that. So. I made a video like a year ago where I talked to you guys about like traveling van life park ups so like how to find park ups when you're only going to be staying for like a few days whereas now we're like stationary van life so we need to be using the same spots again and again and again for like months on end and I feel like there's a few things we've picked up along the way that are a little bit important that you do so yeah I want to share all that with you guys today. Yes, let's go. <laughs> if you already watched my videos, then this spot is probably very familiar to you because we're here all the time. Uh, but if you don't watch my videos, hello, I'm Kirsty. you can call me Kirst. The thing that every single person who lives in a van is just absolutely obsessed with, it's like the number one buzzword, and that is landowner permission. <laughs> so we stay in this spot almost all the time because we have landowner permission hello so like the landowner came out one day and was just like checking in because he'd noticed that we'd been staying here a lot and he didn't know like who we were so he came out and he was like hey like are you okay like what's up like you've been here a lot and I was like oh hey yeah like my partner works literally just at the building across the road and we're living in our van until we can get a house he was like oh sick no worries like please feel free to stay here as often as you want for as long as you want overnight during the day whatever just come in if you have any problems like I'll let all the other staff know that you're here and blah 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 one absolute legend it's literally the stuff that dreams are made of <laughs> but that brings me to one of the biggest things that we've learned from living stationary van life talking to your community so this is something that we've found so incredibly helpful because it's really important to kind of mix with everyone whose lives you're getting in the way of by parking everywhere. <laughs> um, and I feel like it's really helped us to bond with people and get to know people around here so that people know us and then they know what to expect. So we will talk to literally anybody that we can find. People walking past the van on dog walks or if we're out on dog walks. And it's just really good to like reassure people that you're not noisy, you're not littering you're a nice person and you're working in the local community it makes them feel like you're a part of their world rather than just this intruder who's come out of nowhere and we also have the added benefit of telling people that this is a temporary solution because we're trying to buy a house so we can say to people like don't worry like we're not going to be here forever we're just here until we're buying a house and generally people are fucking lovely but people just want to help and people are kind so yeah talk to your community <laughs> So spots like these way out in the sticks are absolutely fantastic because generally you're not going to be getting under anybody's feet but the big problem is there's no facilities so if you're coming to stay out somewhere in the wild, the wild, <laughs> we're on a main road, <laughs> then make sure that you have the capacity to store your rubbish and your recycling because I swear to god if you go out and litter I'm going to jump through this screen, I'm going to beat you up, I'm going to no littering kids. <laughs> so one of the best ways to find parking spots when park for night isn't giving you anything to work with is just Google Maps. Just load up and go on to like the satellite terrain option and that's how I found this spot here because you can look for weird little patches of grass or little patches of concrete in residential areas and a spot like this can be absolutely perfect for like a day night split spot and what I mean by that is that it's really beneficial to take your day and split it into two so that you've got somewhere that you're staying during the day and then somewhere you're staying during the night and then that way you never appear as though you're fully living in like one spot and then people aren't gonna feel like you're really getting under their feet okay this one is a little bittersweet for me because when we first moved down to this area in January this year, we got gym memberships so that we could have a shower every day and we asked the gym what they thought about us parking 
in the car park overnight and they were absolutely fantastic they said yeah of course you can and we spent six blissful weeks parking in the gym car park getting up first thing in the morning and just walking to have a shower and then in the evenings we'd go for a sauna yes our gym has a friggin sauna hello bougie lifestyle we'd have a sauna and then we would come straight out to the van and just fall into bed and it was absolutely fantastic then we got the knock. What had transpired was that the, like the business that owns the entire shopping complex, which the gym is part of, the security team decided that they didn't like the fact that there was a van staying on like, you know, their premises overnight. So even though we had permission from the business, it was the landowner's security who eventually said that we had to be moved on which was absolutely devastating. So it was six good weeks while it lasted. So now we uh, park here, in the pub next to the gym. <laughs> No, but in all seriousness though, like we are aware that the security around here is on to us. So we adopt the whole arrive very late and leave very early strategy for this car park. And we're fully aware that literally any one of these days, the pub is gonna get the same shout from security as the gym did to move us on. So we're just enjoying this while it lasts, but we know that this is not a forever home for us. <laughs> On the subject of pubs, if you're from the UK, then I know that you have enjoyed a bottomless coffee in Weatherspoons. But did you know that tons of Weatherspoons have bottomless parking? So that came out a little bit grosser than I uh, intended it to. <laughs> been going into spoons quite a lot recently because oh my god do you know that 1000 watt inverter that we were sent to replace our other inverter that broke within a week the size discrepancy is gonna be an issue yeah um it broke within a week <laughs> i can't i'm not ready to talk about it yet <laughs> so we have no way of charging the laptops in the van at the current moment so we have to keep going into spoons and buying tons of coffee to uh, charge up the laptops, which is what it is. But the good thing about it is, is that if you buy something in there, then you really don't feel bad about staying in their car park all night, so. I do really like this spot. This is another one that we found just by looking at Google and we found this weird little road going into the forest and then just disappearing into nothingness and we were like, we gotta go check that out. Drove along this gorgeous little country road and then there's this perfect lay-by right here, right next to the height restricted car park. So I love it here. And you feel really comfortable having all your doors open, it's nice and peaceful, the dogs can roam around. This is a sick find from Google. Oh my god, and it has excellent 4G. Quite often when you end up going out into the country to find your parking spots, you're just, just download stuff on Netflix, okay? Just don't do it to yourself. But actually here you've got perfect 4G, 4G plus even. So yeah, that's, pr that's a pretty sweet find. All right, well, I hope that that's been insightful for you to see how we're finding our parking spots now that we're stationary in our van. <laughs> it's been really cool to take you guys around and like show off all the places that we found because it does take a little while to like get yourself oriented in a place and find the spots that you like and find the spots that you're not allowed to be in. And <laughs> it's a constantly moving machine. So yeah, I've really enjoyed showing off our parking <laughs> spots. <laughs> so I make weekly videos about the, my calamity of an existence um so please do subscribe if you're interested check out this video that i made in which um i look after my basil plant plant vlog go enjoy i hope you enjoy it okay i love you so much bye okay <laughs>